please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hi there, good afternoon. This is your stock sign, Mangla Malu. With me is Sumera Abdi. Sumera, good afternoon. Looks like a rather good afternoon because uh, earlier in the day we thought, you know, ICICI mm -hmm. Bank would be the big drag on our index and all of that. Yes, it has fallen about 6%. It has been lower uh, throughout this trading session. But what ICICI Bank took away, Kotak Mahindra and HDFC Bank more than gave it. The Nifty Bank is back in the green, up almost about 200 points from the low point of the day. We have the Nifty virtually at the high point of the day, being aided by all the auto stocks as well. And uh, mind you, this is the start of a new series mm -hmm. where the FIs are long just about 18%. So maybe there could be some more coming forward given there could be some short covering and we're above the 200-day moving average of uh, 10,180 right now. Let's see if that holds. It started Gaurang Shah, Prakash Gaba join in to answer all the queries that are going to be sent in by our viewers this afternoon. Gentlemen, good afternoon to both of you. Our first caller is through to us. Raj Gopal Rao calls in from Telangana. Hi, uh, Mr. Rao, how can we help you? Hello. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. How can we help you? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm holding uh, 10,000 shares of ID, IDSC, which yes. we bought two years ago at okay. 147. And since then, uh, they have issued one for one bonus. That's mm. right. So I have additionally 1,000, 10,000 mm. shares of uh, IDFC. Mm. Uh, bonus shares also. Now their price is round about uh, uh, 140. Uh, I don't know what is the price it's now. It's 50 rupees uh, currently. Yeah. So at this mm. price, it's uh, it's uh, a low price curve mm. for for selling. Mm -hmm. uh, should we should we should I hold on for? Right. Uh, Okay, so I, I, I take your, uh, I understand your trepidation at the moment. Uh, Gorang, uh, this is a query that's right up your alley. He originally had 10,000 shares. Uh, he now has about uh, 20,000 given the uh, corporate action there, but he has bought it at roughly 147 odd. Um, keep in mind that uh, the gentleman is retired. What would be your advice on, uh, you know, if he should continue taking a risk with IDFC or he should switch to a better alternative? Thanks, Sumira, and good afternoon to all of you all. So even if you put the share price of both together, IDFC Bank and IDFC, along with the corporate development and action of bonus, I don't think you are going anywhere, to be very honest. And uh, over the last two, three years, you know, there has been terrible underperformance, both from IDFC as well as IDFC Bank. Uh, and in terms of numbers, it does not, uh, you know, excite us to have uh, any kind of view on both the stocks. So again, with a disclosure that we do not cover IDFC and keeping in mind he is retired, he has already spent two years and the stock has not gone anywhere where the market has moved uh, to at least uh, a higher level. Last year it gave a return of close to about 27-28%. I think prudent to move into better known names in the NBFC. One such name that I recollect uh, which was corrected very recently uh, by almost about 20-30 odd percent is LNT Finance and Holding. My sense is either at current levels or on pullback at higher levels. If you want to lighten up IDFC since it has not gone anywhere and I don't think it will go anywhere in the near future as well, keeping in mind the numbers that they have been delivering. I, prudent to move into you know either uh, LNT Finance and Holding or if I can add one more idea, Sumera. Uh, get into stocks which are associated with life insurance which got listed just last year. ICICI Pro, HDFC Life or uh, SBI Life. I think these would be better performing stocks keeping in mind the government policies which were unfolded during the budget by the Honorable Finance Minister. All right, uh, Mr. Rajkumar, that is the advice for you. Get out of IDFC and get into uh, LNT Finance or probably even one of these insurance companies, the names that he just spoke about, ICIC Pro, HDFC, Standard Life. So we'll keep an eye out on uh, what uh, the recommendations are going forward. But as of now, not be in IDFC is the call. But we have another caller as well, SJ Kumar, calling us from Tamil Nadu, has investments in PC Jeweler. Uh, Mr. Jay Kumar? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yep. Uh, Tell us. Sir, I am Jay Kumar, calling mm -hmm. from Tamil Nadu. Right. Uh, sir, I am holding 11,000 shares of uh, PC Jewelers, sir. 
Right. Uh, bought recently, just one week back. Oh. Uh, at the price of rupees three three hundred and fifty eight, sir. Right. Uh, right. Shall I hold or sell? I am a long term investor, and okay. then I can hold for next one or two years. Sir. Okay. Any particular reason why you <coughs> bought PC Jeweler? What, what yeah. led to uh, you uh, because making that purchase? Because compared to Titan, it is. Uh, yeah, compared to Titan, the P E ratio is uh, somewhat very low, sir. Okay, but uh, all right, uh, we'll 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 uh, try to get in a fundamental view. But uh, because you bought it very recently and there's been a huge price correction, we'll uh, we'll go to Prakash first. Prakash, P C jeweler, he's losing a sizable amount there, four and a half lakh rupees, and he bought it just uh, very recently at three fifty eight. What would you suggest? Just recent. Otherwise, yeah. it's seen a high of even six hundred dollars. Exactly. Exactly. Well, basically, the structure looks a bit <coughs> tired, and if his perspective is long term, he could continue holding it. But I don't like the stock; it's still weak. I can see lower levels, perhaps even 260 is possible. So, if it goes to 260, that's the place to enter. Or you would like to exit now and re-enter there? That's your call. But to me, it still looks weak to me. Mm. So, uh, technically, you're saying it looks tired. Fundamentally, I think Gorang might say it looks absolutely exhausted. Uh, Gordon, I saw an uh, evil smile on your face. Uh, the gentleman is losing quite a bit of money. Uh, any remedy, any alternative? Where can he make good this loss? Uh, well, Subara, you know, n not one but multiple news flows uh, mm. on PC dwellers. And unfortunately, mm. for the wrong reasons. Mm. And uh, after the Nirav Modi, Mehul Choksi issue. I think uh, we've seen uh, absolute slaughter on some of the, uh, you know, lesser known names, uh, jewellery names, which are already listed. Now, if I have to identify one company in gems and jewellery, then Titan Company would be the stock that I would recommend. Uh, by with respect to pedigree, uh, diversified businesses, uh, contribution uh, to the balance sheet, and credibility. Uh, prudent to move into Titan. Uh, don't uh, put all your money, move your money at one time into Titan at current levels. Expect volatility and choppiness in the market, which will open up opportunity to add on dips as well. And uh, you know, Gorang, this is uh, uh, actually uh, given the kind of uh, loss that the, uh, Mr. Jay Kumar is making. I just want to uh, uh, want you to indulge us a little bit. Uh, you know, very often when investors are looking at picking stocks, uh, na uh, like Mr. Jay Kumar mentioned that he looked at the P/E ratio, uh, might have uh, perhaps uh, uh, you know not looked closely enough at the news flow. How does one actually, uh, I mean, what would be the top uh, three or four top tips while selecting stocks? I mean, looking at the fundamentals. So, Subara, firstly, I think uh, corporate governance pedigree is of most importance. Second is how the company is performing in the sector vis-a-vis -vis the peers. Uh, businesses, whether it is focusing on single business or whether it has got diversified business verticals and uh, how is the management going to grow the business with uh, strategies in place. Mm -hmm. I think primarily these and of course there are various ratios that you look into yeah. when you analyze the balance sheet on the fundamental other than going and meeting the management etc etc. So you know at least you know five six parameters and one humble request is you know if you are not convinced yourself then ask questions before investing. Don't ask questions after you've got invested because the water has already gone above the head. The market just about 10, 12 odd points away from that uh, 10,200 mark on the Nifty. So about 75 points higher over there. I think it's pretty much the high point of trade. The Sensex is higher by 220 odd points and the mid cap index 250 points higher there. So about a percent and a half. So we'll get stock, uh, talking about a lot of the stocks during focus. Before that, we have a caller who's through to us already. G. Sampat is on the line with us from Chennai. He has investments in Thirumalai Chemicals. Uh, Mr. Sampat, how can we help you? Uh, uh, good, good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, I'm calling sir. from Chennai. Right. I'm calling from Chennai. I bought this uh, Thirumalai Chemical. Around, uh, I made some average also. Mm -hmm. Around one nine double zero. Okay. So, what is the future uh, 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 company uh, output, madam? Mm. So I, I can hold it for uh, how many days mm. further for making a profit? 
Okay, uh, so. uh, Mr. Sampath, I think you have the television on in the background, so we're not able to hear you cl uh, uh, clearly. But I get the gist of what you're saying is that uh, you've bought into Thirumalai Chemicals. You've also averaged uh, some of your holdings there. So I think totally you have about nine, uh, uh, what 136 shares. Prakash, let me come to you first on this because fundamentally we've spoken a lot about these specialty chemicals. But technically, how does this stock look to you? And anything from this space that you track regularly, anything that you like? I like Thirumala Chemical. Okay. Basically, technically, a structure that is positive, seen a correction, and after correction, it's seen a good up move as well. And today's bar is encouraging. If this bar holds, then perhaps I would say that it can climb up to levels close to around 2100 or even higher zones to maybe at 2300. It may take its own sweet time for that. But I think I like the structure. I like the bounce it has happened, the way it has happened, the place it has happened. So as long as it holds, it's up. All right, as long <coughs> as it holds, it's up is the word coming in from the technical space. but. Gorang, you know, uh, the last one year the stock has doubled. Last two years the stock has moved almost eight, nine times. So at 1800 rupees, do you think there was fair value? And in the specialty chemical space, do you think the cycle is only going to go up or uh, uh, there may be some accident going forward? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, Mangalam, uh, let's hope there are no accidents mm -hmm. and uh, there is a smooth right ahead. But uh, you know, the problem here is, of course, uh, first a disclosure, Mangalam, we don't have any specific coverage on Thirumalai chemicals. But what I can look from the trade is, one is the acquisition price. Uh, second is, I don't know whether the investor has uh, further investable funds. But if not, but your question, uh, whether we are uh, positive on speciality chemicals, agrochemicals, yes, very much so. And with that view, we have coverage on couple of other names in the speciality agrochemicals. Uh, you know, UPL, uh, PI Industries, RT Industries, uh, Tata Chemicals, to name a few, uh, is what we are positive on. So if, so if this gentleman wants to make a change, uh, I would prefer PI Industries, because there we believe after the correction, uh, capability and scope of earnings improvement and thereby higher share prices is quite visible for to us. But on Thirumalai Chemicals, no specific coverage. The mid-caps are extending their gains, and as we take a look at it, uh, nearly six stocks in the green for one in the red. Tata Group stocks, they're doing fairly well. So we have Tata Global Beverages at the high point of the day. We have Tata Communications, and Tata Power 2 actually has moved to the high point of the day. So we'll keep an eye out on all these mid-cap Tata Group stocks. And as we speak, a lot of these media stocks doing well too. Dish TV and TV18 broadcast, of course, with the standard disclaimer. Uh, as we speak, TVS Motors numbers are on your screen. Total sales up 27%, 3.26 lakh units versus 2.56 lakh units. Two-wheeler sales up by about 26%. Of course, that looks like a good set of numbers because the street likes uh, uh, likes these numbers. The stock is at the high point of the day. Exports up 55%. So far, all the numbers that we've got from the auto pack for March sales have been phenomenal. The CV cycle doing fairly well. Three-wheeler sales, that one too on a low base increase by close to about 100%. So double doubling of the three-wheeler sales, scooter sales up 20% and two-wheeler sales moving higher as well. The street likes it, the stock at the high point of the day. But we have Nihali Sampat who writes to us from Mumbai, holds 300 shares of Fortis Healthcare at 151 rupees a piece for the last three months. A medium-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell. Gorang Fortis, that, that name has been in the news all over over the last many months and uh, a person's bought it this three months ago at 151 the, the deal announcement has been made there is still some uncertainty the price correction has been done what would you say what is from the medium term perspective fundamentally so mangalam uh, we did have a coverage uh, on fortis healthcare but uh, because of multiple negative news flows uh, and uh, a little bit of question mark on the credibility, credibility and governance, we have dropped the coverage altogether on Fortis and we do not uh, uh, have any coverage as of now. But the reason why we dropped was a couple of things. One is, of course, uh, <coughs> delay in announcing the numbers. Second was the issues raised by the auditor. And third one was the, you know, siphoning of funds uh, acquisition. So we believe that uh, despite this, all the and most of the negative news flow Mangalam, uh, our news flows are on the negative side. Hmm. Uh, I, and of course now they are talking about demerging one particular division, etc. I don't know how, what, how, what shape, what valuation it will be. But when you have these kind of you know news flows out in the public domain, which are not going in favor of the company, uh, 
uh, I think the alarm bells should ring uh, earlier rather than later. So if you are interested in investing in healthcare, uh, as a disclosure, we have a positive view and a long-term investment call on Apollo Hospital. Uh, prudent to make a switch. Can't comment on Fortis since we have dropped the coverage. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Apollo Hospital is a call from Gorang Sunihali. I hope you use this, uh, 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 you know, the current uh, investment uh, rather as a lesson in investing and look at the fundamentals before because Fort is being something which has been uh, in the news and negatively so now for quite a while. Uh, we have a query coming in now from Shalini Jha who writes to us from New Delhi. She says she holds 500 shares of Ramco Systems which she's bought at 567 rupees. Uh, so she's making quite a bit of a loss. She's been holding for a year. She's a long-term investor and wants to do what she should do at this point in time. Prakash, uh, almost a lack in terms of, uh, a little more than a lack rather, in terms of losses. The stock hasn't done much. Uh, I mean, I can see the chart for the last one year. Um, uh, there's uh, no good news on the charts at least. But what do you say? What's the expert opinion? The first thing to do, is, Tamara, is to put a stop below 350 and hold it. If it goes up, fine, and take the advantage of exiting on the rise. Where can it go? Possible maybe around 425, 430. If it goes there, exit. I wouldn't like to be in the stock. All right, that's the advice. Hold the stock. 360 is where you place the stop loss. If you're holding it, sell it above 420, 425. That's the view on Ramco Systems. With that, it's a wrap on your stock. Stay tuned to CNBC TV 18.